Road to GH will reveal shocking events that occurred on Thursday, October 3, 2024. First, Lucky's unexpected return brought hope and joy to the Spencer family, especially as Lulu urgently needed a liver transplant. With her health worsening, everyone hoped that Lucky could be the suitable donor to save his sister. His arrival seemed to bring a glimmer of light during the dark times the family was facing. However, amidst the joy and hope, Liz, who has years of experience in the medical field, offered a cautious reminder. She advised everyone not to rush into surgery and testing, despite the hope that Lucky's return brought. Liz suggested that before making any major decisions, thorough testing should be done to ensure that Lucky's liver is truly suitable and that the transplant will be conducted safely. Liz understood that medical decisions must be made responsibly and with care. She was concerned that in the midst of panic, people might rush and overlook important steps, potentially leading to unforeseen risks. Although everyone wanted to save Lulu immediately, Liz believed that caution during this phase was crucial to ensure the surgery's success and the safety of both Lulu and Lucky. Second, after weeks of investigating John's death, Sam gradually realized that the case was closely tied to her mother, Alexis. The evidence and details gathered throughout the investigation had led to Alexis becoming the prime suspect, putting her at risk of being convicted and imprisoned. However, Sam didn't believe her mother could be the culprit and was convinced that something wasn't right. The most important thing now was to find evidence to clear Alexis's name. During her investigation, Sam discovered that the murder weapon had been discarded, possibly thrown into the river. She understood that finding the gun would be the key to solving the case and exonerating her mother. With no other options, Sam decided that the only way to uncover the truth was to dive into the river herself to retrieve the gun. This was an extremely dangerous task, but Sam knew that without the gun, Alexis would have no chance of escaping conviction. With determination and love for her mother, Sam prepared for this difficult mission. She understood the risks she would face as she dove into the cold and murky river, but nothing could stop her. No matter the cost, Sam was determined to recover the gun and save Alexis from prison, bringing the case to its rightful conclusion. Third, it had been a long time since Trina last saw Ava, and today she decided to visit the woman she always considered a trusted and close friend. Life had been busy, with various events and pressures preventing Trina and Ava from talking as they used to. But today, Trina felt the need to visit Ava, not just to check in, but also to confide in her about what she was going through. When Trina arrived at Ava's home, she noticed that Ava seemed more tired than usual. Something in Ava's eyes made Trina worry, as if she was carrying burdens she couldn't speak of. Trina sat down and began asking about Ava's life and what had been happening recently. Though Ava tried to appear strong, she eventually opened up about her worries. Family problems, work, and personal relationships were weighing heavily on her. Trina listened to every word Ava said, empathizing with the struggles Ava was facing. She understood that sometimes, having someone to share with and listen is the most important thing. Trina's visit was not just to inquire, but also to provide emotional support for Ava, just as Ava had been there for her during difficult times. Next, Portia was overwhelmed with worry, as the truth about her past was at risk of being exposed. The incident involving altering Heather's test results, a serious mistake Portia had made, could now come to light, threatening her career and reputation. Though many years had passed, the burden of her past decisions still weighed heavily on Portia's mind. Amidst her anxiety, Portia remembered Brad, who had a history of making similar mistakes, and getting involved in unethical actions during his time working in General Hospital's lab. Brad had gotten into trouble for falsifying test results, and Portia believed that with his past, Brad might be the one to help her out of her current predicament. Portia decided to approach Brad not to beg for help, but to present a bold offer. She proposed that Brad take the blame for her involvement in the Heather case. By doing so, Portia could protect her career and avoid serious consequences, while Brad would face the responsibility of taking the fall once again. Portia knew this was a risky proposal, but given the situation, she felt she had no other choice. She thought that after everything Brad had been through, he might accept this deal in exchange for some future benefit. 
This would not only help Portia escape her dilemma, but also give Brad a chance to rebuild his life, even if it meant sacrificing part of his reputation. Finally, Molly had gathered solid evidence of Christina's criminal actions, putting her in a favorable position. Although she loved her sister dearly, Molly couldn't overlook the truth about what Christina had done with her child. The evidence Molly had was enough to convict Christina, and this could lead to her facing jail time. However, she also understood that if the case came to light, the consequences would be devastating, not only for Christina, but for the entire family. Therefore, Molly made a difficult proposal to her mother, Alexis. She demanded that Alexis follow her plan. Molly knew that with Alexis's experience and legal expertise, she could find a legal way out, but only if Alexis agreed to follow her lead. This could involve negotiating for Christina to plead to a lesser charge or making a legal arrangement to protect her from the worst consequences. Thank you.